hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to fulfill one of the requests which i am getting a lot in the last one week since i have covered this moshi one preview model on the channel and that is how to run this model locally by using comfy ui so in this video i am going to show you the simplest and easiest way i have found out it's not as straight straightforward as you would think Yes, it works on the basis of custom node, but there are few things which you need to be aware of in order to get this working properly. If you don't know what Comfy UI is and how to install it, I will also point you to one of the videos which I have done recently around three weeks ago. So this first video, please watch it and get the Comfy UI installed with exact same instructions as i have shown there so that you'll be able to get the latest comfy ui with proper specs once you have up and running please come back to this video and then start installing this moshi one thing if you don't know what moshi one is please again go to my channel and search with moshi and you should be able to find this video where i have gone into way more detail in its architecture how to get this installed and then what exactly is involved in this model just to give you a very quick overview this moshi one preview is an open state-of-the-art video generation model with very high fidelity motion and very strong prompt adherence in preliminary evaluation it is still in preview so just imagine what would happen when it comes to fruition with a full-blown version this model has dramatically closed the gap between closed and open source generation systems. And we have seen that in this video, which I was pointing to earlier, where we have generated few videos and they were quite mind blowing. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of it. It was really, really good. So again, I'm going to run it locally with the help of comfy ui so let's get started before i do that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and it is powered by AI and I'm going to drop the link to it in video's description. Okay, so first step, make sure you have Comfy UI installed. As you can see, I already have this Comfy UI up and running and installed. And as I mentioned, please watch my other video to get it installed. And it's a brand new installation, by the way. And if you are running an old version of Comfy UI, go to comfy ui manager again i have done a video on it so please check it out it is just a custom node from there click on update all to make sure you are on the latest version of comfy ui so i'm assuming you have the latest version of comfy ui now once you have it go to this github repo where this person kitch ai has very graciously shared this custom node which you can use to run this moshi model on your comfy ui installation and i will drop the link to it in a video's description so the way you install this is very simple you go to this repo click on the screen button grab this and then go to your comfy ui you see that my comfy ui is already running let me cancel it in comfy ui directory go to custom nodes then do git clone and then paste the url of that custom node and then press enter and it is going to install or git clone that custom node into this comfy ui directory if i do ls you will see that now we have this comfy ui moshi wrapper here so go back from this directory and then let me run that comfy ui again so let's wait for it to get and up and running and that is up and running at 8188 so let me refresh my browser and that is all done so next step you need to do is to go to comfy ui manager on the right hand side and then you would need to click on uh, custom node manager from there i'm clicking on install make sure you have this node installed comfy ui video helper suite if you 
don't have it simply copy its name and then you can search it here and then there will be an install button just click on install that's all you need to do so this is one node you need to install another you need to install is this kj nodes for comfy ui make sure you also have it installed in the same way once you have both of them installed click on restart from here and it is going to restart your comfy ui once you have restarted it then or you can click here to restart it refresh your browser and reload it that is extremely important okay let me clear the screen here now once that's done click on load go to wherever you have installed your comfy ui then in custom notes moshi wrapper examples and from here you can load any of these workflows of your choice here so for instance i'm going to go with the second one let's click here if i make it smaller you will see all we are doing it here is we are loading the clip model which converts our text prompt into the model understandable language from there we are downloading the moshi model this is a cool thing that you don't have to download the model separately it downloads them for you all of these moshi preview also it's v which is variational autoencoder which converts uh, images from latent space to pixel space and then there is positive and negative prompt and this is a sampler node which actually generates some um, image and then we have decoding here from there we are simply displaying the video so let me run it it is going to first download the model the first time only of course So I have just clicked on this Q prompt and you can see that models are being downloaded. If I show you in the terminal, it is the, it is fetching the file at the moment and it is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it. The good thing is that it is in the GGUF format. It's a small file instead of the full file. And then in the prompt, I'm just asking it to have a nature video of a red panda eating bamboo in front of a waterfall that also i already had this uh, clip model which i have got from here flux text encoder and i just right click and downloaded it in my clip folder so let's wait for it while that happened let me also show you my gpu card and later on i will also show you its con consumption this is my gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. This has been sponsored by Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so it is still running. As I said, it is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it. And the models have been downloaded as you can see and now it is doing the sampling and we can also see that it has moved on from that node and it is now on the sampler node so let's wait for it to see what it produces and since the model is loaded onto my gpu so you can see that it is consuming around 19 gig of vram out of my 48 gpu of vram so that much you would need at least in order to run this Q8. And if you have lesser VRAM, maybe just reduce this quant level. But of course, there will be a hit on the performance and the quality of the video. It is still working, it is still quite slow, so let's wait. And if I go to the terminal, you can see that it is showing me it is going to take 40 minutes to get it working. So I will just wait for 40 minutes and then we'll show you how it turns out. And after 42 minutes, as you can see that the video is generated, let me show you the video. So this is a panda and look at the quality of this video. It has taken time, but the quality is simply mind blowing, really, really amazing. So this is a new frontier. And I think in the future, this time will uh, reduce a lot gradually and then we, it will be just like text generation or even image generation it will be few seconds 
and of course if you are using more gpu maybe in parallel this might be quicker but look at the quality it's simply mind-blowing really really great stuff so this is what why this moshi model is so much popular and it has really gained a lot of traction out there so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and now you know how to do it how to generate this video from text by using comfy ui in such a simple uh, way if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching